today's video, I'm going to talk to you about all the empty products and things that I've used up. So let's just start with it. And the first thing I've got here is the Enspa Micellar One Step Cleanser. Now I've been through a few bottles of this, about two or three bottles. I like it. I do actually really like the Enspa range. I use their night creams, I've used their day creams. This stuff, um, it did sting my skin a little bit. Didn't break me out or anything. So those of you who have sensitive skin, bear that in mind. But yeah, I've done a blog post on their stuff. I'll leave it all down below. So I've got lots of different types of makeup removers here. I've got the first one here, which are these Formula 10.0.6 face wipes. Love these, I've spoken about them before. They're my favorite face wipes I've ever used. They're so saturated. They take off heavy makeup. I still cleanse after. I normally find face wipes aren't sufficient enough at taking everything off not these and they made my skin feel absolutely lovely they have pomegranate and other stuff in there and rose i think yeah really like these you can pick these up at urban outfitters i believe after those ran out um i went into boots and i decided to get these yester cucumber wipes and again i've spoken about these briefly they were okay they weren't as good as the formula ones and these did sting me a little bit as well again they didn't break me out it was fine my skin did feel nice after using them they weren't as efficient at removing heavy eye makeup and mascara i probably wouldn't repurchase these i don't think and because i wasn't happy with those wipes um the next ones i decided to try were the garnier micellar extra gentle cleansing wipes uh, these are probably my least favourite out of all of them. They're not bad, they don't sting my skin, they make it feel nice, but they're just not very saturated. The wipe is quite dry, doesn't have too much product on there. I find that I need like two or three just to take off my everyday makeup, which isn't very much. So not very cost effective. I wouldn't repurchase these particular wipes again. Sorry Garnier. So I've got some more skincare bits that I've finished up. The first one, finished many of these, and it's the Simple Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I've used many different face moisturizers and they all kind of work pretty well on my skin. I've got normal to dry skin, but I always like something with a high SPF, higher than 15, and this is an SPF of 30. It's affordable, it's usually always on offer for about three or four pounds at the high street. I do really, really like simple skincare products. They are just simple and my skin really likes that. If I overcomplicate it with too many fancy things, I find that my skin can just look a little bit grey and a bit bumpy. Not breakouts, but just not an even texture to work with. And yeah, simple stuff I like and I'm sure I'll be finishing more of these. Next skincare item is a night cream which I finished and it's the Enspa Night Cream. Again, finished many tubs of these, completely gone. Absolutely love the stuff. It smells lovely. It's pink when you first get it, which I like. And just really nice, gentle. It smells lovely. I can't fault it. It's a nice price. The company have a very good ethos. They're against animal testing and all that jazz. Got good things to say about Enspa and I like this night cream. Now, a lot of these products I've repurchased many times and it's the same for this one. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I used to love this stuff. It was like my holy grail skin serum. I still really, really like it, but I'll be honest, I can't really afford to keep repurchasing it. It's expensive. If you can afford it, check it out, because I absolutely love it. Um, I still need to use a moisturizer or some kind of night cream after I use this. I can't explain what this does, but it just evens out my skin tone, gives my skin a slightly brighter appearance, and in the morning it feels very supple. I do like this stuff, it's pricey, but it is good. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. A slightly more affordable serum I've used up is the Soap and Glory Make Yourself Youthful Serum. This is the rejuvenating one. I like this stuff, it smells so lovely. It's got like a orangey kind of smell to it. It's just very fresh, quite citrusy. Really nice to use um, before makeup as well, just smooths out the skin. Yeah, I actually really like this stuff. The Soap and Glory skincare stuff, some of it's a bit hit and miss, but what I have tried, I've been pretty much impressed with. And onto a few makeup bits I've finished. Now the first is this Maybelline Eraser Concealer. I have this in the colour Nude. I love this stuff. It's really, really lightweight, but it just gives a very flawless coverage. I don't know how. The colour is nice, but I was doing some research about this product online. And in certain countries, they release other shades like Honey and Caramel. 
Um, I just don't understand why there's only two shades available here in England. There are other ethnicities that live within this country and other countries. Um, so Maybelline, and to my subscribers and viewers, please tweet them this. Why can we not get a wider range of shades available here? Maybelline, make it happen. I've got two shades, light and nude. There's not even a medium. Come on, Maybelline and other drugstore brands. We need more concealers, foundations that are targeted to darker skin tones. <laughs> Moving on, I have an eyeliner. and uh, This is one by Rimmel and it's the Scandalize. This is a nice product. I like the nib on it because it's very, very fine. So you can create a really precise wing. The only thing is, it's not the blackest black liner I've used. I found that it dried out pretty quickly like in the tube so I didn't get a lot of use out of it. That's the only downside. I'm still on the hunt for like the perfect pen liner. Might just cave in and get the Kat Von D one because I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. But yeah, this isn't, I don't think it's like the best one you can get in the drugstore. That's the Rimmel Scandalize. Next two makeup items are two foundations. Now the first one I finished up and I'm so sad because it's pricey. I can't afford to spend this much money on a foundation and it's the Makeup Forever HD. I have it in the shade 123 and I love this stuff. This is one of my holy grail foundations along with the Too Faced one. It has more of a medium to high coverage so I tend to use it for like a night out or just when you want to look a little bit more polished than usual. Not really for every day. Nice undertones and shades available and I'm really interested to try the new Ultra HD too. And the next foundation I've finished, this is actually in the old packaging, and it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have it in the shade 6.5, but it's all gone. I like this stuff a lot. It gives a very like natural satin type finish. It's like in between dewy and matte. I can't quite explain it. Again, the undertones are lovely on this. Really nice product. Feels luxurious to use. It should, because it's expensive. But yeah, I like this. I would repurchase it, but again, it is quite pricey. On to some hair care products. Now, the first thing I've got here is this Twisted Sister 30 Second Cal Spray. This is okay. I have a few of these lying around because I picked them up in Poundland. Yeah, you can pick them up in Poundland, Sainsbury's, Superdrug. They're fairly cheap, about two quid or a pound in Poundland. <laughs> They're nice to use just for next day curly hair when you want to revive your curls a little bit. It does have a very, very strong smell. So those sensitive to scents might not like this, but yeah, it's an okay product and okay for the price as well. Next product I was actually surprised I liked and I actually finished it. And it's the Frizzies Extra it's the Frizzies Extra Strength 6 Effects Serum. It's a purple one. Um, yeah, this stuff's really nice. It does exactly what it says. It just kind of tames the frizz a little bit. You don't need a lot. And again, this is nice to use when my hair is completely dry. So after styling or again on the second day when you just want to tame that frizz a little bit. I like this. I probably would check out more from this range and the other serums they offer. Nice in this humid weather as well. Leaves my hair feeling shiny. And another hair product which I need to go and buy because I absolutely love it and it's the L'Oreal Mythic Oil. These come in all different types. This one's the Rich Oil and again it's lovely to just finish off styling your hair. So after you've done everything you just want to smooth it all out. And it's lovely on wet hair as well, so I use it on my hair wet and when it's dry. It's just such a nice oil, it doesn't weigh it down too much so it's not too heavy and it's not too light that it just slips and slides and doesn't do anything. It's the perfect in-between, oh, one of the best hair oils I've tried. And the last product I've got here, it's the It's A 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This stuff is so good. I know I've said that about a lot of the stuff here, but this is really, really good. The only thing stopping me from buying it is that it's discontinued here in Sally's. So I'm going to have to try and find it online somewhere. Um, but it smells amazing. It left my hair so smooth. Girls with curly and straight hair can use it. It's just a miracle in a bottle. I can't explain it. I had like no frizz, hardly any frizz. It's also like a heat defense. It does like 10 things in one. It's, it's just a miracle product. Definitely check out this stuff. And it's all gone. All gone. Nothing, nothing coming out. 
and they're all the products I've used up and finished. What products are your repurchases? Let me know, is there a product that you can't live without, whether it's skincare, hair care? Let me know in your comments. I like to be nosy and know what you guys like. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Peace. Hey, it's just me again. I'm just letting you guys know that you can check out my last video by clicking on the box just there. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button too. Peace.